Hello and welcome to my ninth Python tutorial. This will be learning about the while loop because in the third tutorial I didn't really explain it well and I didn't intend to because now you know much more about it with booleans and the equal um, equal sign and the conditional things. We can start uh, writing programs that use this um, while loop. Uh, the while loop is extremely good when you have a condition and you want to keep repeating it until it's done, until the condition is false, sorry. And um, it can be used to create infinite loops and just a whole bunch of things. And also using that in combination with the if elif else um, you can literally solve any problem that is solvable because some aren't solvable um, so let's get on with it and write a program with a while loop so a good example of a while loop is using a average program which i will write as ave for short and um so with the while loop uh, what is good is to have accumulator variables which are uh, defined outside of the loop and keep getting keep get at keep getting added on to I, I don't know um every time the loop iterates through ah uh, so we'll set our two accumulator uh two accumulator variables which will be the x sum because if we put uh just sum alone it'll be purple meaning it's a function and uh, Python will be like, what? Sum's not a variable. What are you talking about? Sum is equal to 0, 0.0. And count is equal to 0. The reason I put 0, 0.0 so it's a float and Python doesn't get messed up if we ever have a decimal point um, number and... Um, something gets messed up now to start the loop we will have um, a, uh, a statement um, an ask for a user input to uh, start the loop be so the condition is true we can put a string because it's just going to be a string is equal to again with the same problem as sum uh, str is a function which puts numbers into a string and we will put input the reason I'm not doing uh, eval the evaluation because for my while loops condition, I am going to put not equal to an empty string. And uh, because put enter to um, exit the loop, and then I'll do the calculations. So enter a number, and then the enter button to quit and then uh, some cool little arrows because they look cool and now for our while loop that was wickle we put the exclamation point then the equal sign meaning not equal to empty string and always with the while loop it's a condition while loop statement condition 
and then the body down here. Oops, what did I do? Hmm. What happened? No, oh, that's legal. What is this? No. Oh, wait, I forgot. X. X, uh, string is not equal to... There we go. While not equal to whatever doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now we have to uh, add to the accumulator variables and um, evaluate x so that it is a string now. Uh, sorry, number uh, data type. We don't want it to be a string. So x is equal to eval oops, eval x ah uh, oops um x is equal to eval x string x sum is equal to x sum plus x and this is a legal statement in python if you have not remembered we can put one variable is equal to a variable plus x next thing count is equal to count plus one we want the count because we want to know how many times we did um, the loop uh, so that because in the average we have to do the sum of the numbers divided by how many numbers there are and the count accumulator variable will handle that and we do uh, uh, equals uh, just copy this do 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 now we have this because we need to keep asking for it. And, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. then what do we have to do next? Now we have the asking, um, and then when the loop exits, we will have uh, return return uh, as opposed to print they can do the same thing but return automatically exits outside of the function when you have multiple functions it's better uh, when we go more in depth with functions um, you'll see why you use the return statement return uh, x sum over float division and over the count. Now let's try this out. AVE, enter number 12, 42, 52, that big number, some random numbers, and the average is this. That pretty much wraps it up for the while loop. Um, remember, while statement, condition, body, and then when the while loop stops, we can have, uh, we put our return statement or print statement, depending on what you want to do. Um, also, some people like to put uh, a break thing would call the break statement and it's like that not bread break and what the break statement does is it stops the while loop from being an infinite loop what this is an infinite loop it's just you have the power to make the condition not true so we can do um either while true which will always be true it's just an infinite loop and then 
um, if uh, if x string is equal to um, the to an empty string, then we do the break statement. But otherwise, keep doing this. And that is also a good example of a one-way decision. So let's put that in while. Tab. All right. Uh, while true. True. If uh, str is equal to uh, oops, then we do break. So hopefully this works and I didn't screw up something. Uh, 12 that. Oh no, I did do some. Oh, right, because I didn't make it return a value. Break, and then. Uh, return x sum over count. So let's st try that out now. Uh, and we get our average. Oh, nice. So, two ways to go about uh, while loops and stopping them, the conditional things, infinite loops and non-infinite infinite loops. I prefer never using the break statement. I don't like it. it makes the program look nicer. It's also shorter. Um, but do whatever floats your boat, and that wraps it up.